Hey, Wayne here from Wayne Thoden Art. Well, actually, it's, it's not me. It's just my head on a piece of paper. But today I'm going to be doing a review. Hey, what you gonna review? I'm glad you asked. Today I'll be reviewing black wing pencils. Let's get down to it. Okay, cue the intro. Okay, so the Blackwing 602 pencil was first produced, I believe, somewhere around 1934 by the Eberhard Faber Pencil Company. Now, they had a slogan stamped on the side of the pencil that read, Half the pressure, twice the speed. And evidently, at the time, this was supposed to appeal to stenographers. Hey, I guess if you're uh, using a pencil all day, half the pressure and twice the speed is a good thing. Now, the Blackwing 602 pencil is considered one of the finest pencils ever made, but it wasn't the only pencil the Eberhard Faber Company produced. Uh, they made a bunch of different types of pencils. Uh, here are some of mine. This is a, a Van Dyke pencil. I have a whole box of these. I'm a little bit of a pencil nerd. I collect vintage pencils. Here's a Microtomic, a Monitor 1395, an Eberhard Faber Mongol 480, an Amigo, uh, the Decaro, uh, these are just a few of the pencils they produced, uh, but it was this, this Blackwing 602. Uh, this is one of my original Blackwings. This is the pencil everybody wanted. Artists like Chuck Jones, Don Bluth, and Walt Disney himself used the Blackwing. Uh, not to mention composers, uh, like Leonard Bernstein, Stephen Salheim, Aaron Copeland, Quincy Jones. I mean, everyone had them. Authors, filmmakers, poets. They all used them. In fact, Disney animator Seamus Culhane, who was the lead animator in the Snow White and Pinocchio movies, apparently has to be buried with his Blackwing 602. In 1988, the Eberhard Faber Pencil Company was acquired by the Faber Pastel Company, and in 1994, it was purchased by the Sanford Corporation. Shortly after this acquisition, the machine used to manufacture the clip inside the ferrule which was used to hold the eraser, broke, and the company decided to stop producing the pencil. It was a sad day for Blackwing pencil fans everywhere. But not to fret, fans of the Blackwing in 2008, California Cedar Products Company acquired the rights to the Blackwing name and under its Palomino division, once again started manufacturing the Blackwing 602. They also have three other pencils in the line. The Blackwing Matte, the Blackwing Pearl, and the Blackwing Natural. Now, the matte pencil has the softest lead, which is kind of close to a 3B. The pearl lead is called Balanced. And uh, it's a little bit firmer. And then we have the, the 602, which is sort of like a B. And the natural, which is the firmest lead that they have now. About four times a year, the company also makes specialty pencils, which I'll get into in a bit. Okay, here we have some of my Blackwing Volumes pencils. These first two, not even sure if they were made by Palomino, but... They're meant to emulate or simulate a bassoon reed. Very nicely made, if it wasn't done by Palomino itself, whoever, whoever did, it, did a nice job. The second one here is the Blackwing Volumes XIX, or Volume 19, which was uh, produced to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment, which gave women the right to vote. The pencil is uh, and it's designed to emulate the women's suffrage flag with the purple barrel, uh, the yellow stars, and the white stripe up on the ferrule. The next is the Black Wings 3, Volume 3, which was meant to celebrate the 100th birthday of Robbie Shanker. If you're not familiar with Robbie, he's the one who taught George Harrison of the Beatles how to play the sitar, and the pencil kind of resembles one of the floral patterns that was on um, one of his sitars. Next, I have the Blackwing Volume 840, which celebrates uh, the great surfer Duke Kawanamoko. It has a sea green finish and a gold accent in the shape of the 
840 miles of the California Gold Coast. Uh, also has a light gray eraser, which is meant to simulate the sea foam at the end of a cresting wave. Uh, then we have Blackwing Volumes 6, which was, I guess, inspired by a French engineer, Georges Claude, uh, who invented the neon light, and I guess is meant to celebrate independent businesses and the entrepreneurial spirit. One's in uh, neon blue and neon red. <clears throat> then we have the Blackwing Eras, which is pretty much the 10th anniversary of uh, re-releasing Blackwing pencils. They're inspired by some of the earliest black wings ever produced and it features the uh, iconic gray barrel and ferrule with a gold stripe. And then this is a black wing lab 112220, which was the release date. These are limited um, small batch pencils and each batch has the release date stamped on them. They're only available for 24 hours once they're released. Okay, I just wanted to go over real quick with a volumes order. Uh, looks like if you subscribe. Uh, I guess four times a year you get a new set. So it comes in a box all nicely packaged with the uh, insulation. Cool. First up, you get some, I guess with this particular set, the neon uh, volume six. You get some pins, shop local, shows the neon lights and uh, keep the lights on. You also get a glass vial uh, with the pencil, with somebody's name that I can't read but it describes the pencil the type of lead or, or graphite that is used inside and then you get a box I can open it with 12 of the pencils so you get 12 pencils uh, this particular issue has six red and six blue you know the red the blue has a red eraser the red has a blue eraser so pretty much that's about it on the volumes and uh pretty cool all right okay so i sharpened up uh some pencils i'm going to do a drawing uh Blending in the racing tests. Okay, so we got to start out. We have the uh, Blackwing Natural, the 602, the Pearl, and over here, the Matte. So I'm going to start with the Natural because that's got the extra firm or the hardest graphite. The, uh, for a, a firm graphite, you can actually get some pretty dark values. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna move on to the 602, which has the uh, firm. So the natural has the extra firm. 602 has a firm graphite. When I draw with these pencils, it just has a different feel. It's very, very smooth. Applying the graphite to the paper. And I also love the way the pencils feel on my hand. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the pearl. So the pearl has a balanced, what they call a balanced lead. Where you can see that, uh, or graphite, you can see. It's a little darker. Eh. And then the uh, matte. Now the matte has the softest graphite out of the four. Thank you. 
Some pretty dark values with it. Um, there's some line quality. Natural. Like I couldn't get as light a value with these as I could with say a a 2H or a 3H or even an H pencil. I just love the feel. I love yeah, great values here. Okay, I'm gonna move on to uh, the blending stump. And you can see they blend really well. Move this down a little. Move on to the 602. You can see they blend out really nicely onto the pearl. I'm not even really applying that much pressure. Beautiful blending. And then down to the mat. So the blending is really nice. I'm gonna uh, try some erasing. I have a half mat mechanical eraser. They erase. Works really nicely too. No issues with the erasing. Uh, so there you go. I'm going to draw a picture. So this is going to take a while. So I'll talk to you later. Okay. So I'm just kind of finishing up a uh, picture I drew using only black wings. Um, basically the natural and the 602 uh it's all i really needed uh, i might use the mat a little bit too but yeah i got some blending stumps uh some erasers here in case you're wondering what this is a gel pen that i use for some highlights and uh picture on the phone so yeah so i love the way these feel i would highly recommend them if you're an artist or a writer or anyone who just wants a great pencil uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to my uh, channel, uh, give it a like. Also, I'm going to, going to scan this on my new scanner, a uh, new large format scanner. So I'm going to uh, see how that looks. I'll put that in as well. All right, cool. See you next time. Okay, so here is the scan I did of the drawing uh, with the black wing pencils. I, it doesn't show up that great here, but the uh, actual picture, if I look out on my computer, the scan is great, and I can make really nice prints. I'll zoom in a little bit here. Um, you can see it gets a little bit better. But the prints come out great, so I'm real happy with that. And uh, once again, um, if you like this video, please subscribe, and I will see you soon on my next uh, video.